question 88 from the Geometry CST released test questions. In the circle below, line segment AB and line segment CD are chords intersecting at point E. AB is a chord, CD, line segment CD is a chord intersecting at point E. If AE equals 5, BE equals 12, and CE equals 6, what is the length of DE? Let's label everything here. We have AE as 5. We have BE as 12. We have CE as length 6, and we want to find the length of DE. So I'll just label that N. Um, I'm looking at this if I were to connect point A to C and point D to B, I'd have uh, I'd notice that I'd have triangles that look like they're similar. Um, in these triangles, in theory, they should be proportional. So if that's the case, uh, then this is the long side of this triangle here and this is the long side of this triangle here so those sh those sides should be in proportion just like this is the shorter side of the triangle should be in proportion to this shorter side of this triangle here so I'm going to go ahead and set up a proportion 6 is to 12 as 5 is to n so I have on top I have the uh, smaller triangle sides, and on the bottom I have the uh, larger triangle sides. Uh, and then all I really need to do at this point is just cross multiply and solve for my variable. So I get 6 times n on one side is equal to 5 times 12 on the other. Uh, which I get 6n is equal to 60. Divide both sides by 6. The 6 and the 6 cancel to a 1. 1 times n leaves me with just a plain old n. 60 divided by 6 leaves me with 10. That's our answer for C. 10. You could also have set up the proportions instead of setting uh, the long side of one triangle to the long side of the other triangle. You sh should have also been able to set it 6 is to 5, so both sides of the small triangle in comparison to um, 12, which would compare to the 6 side, them both being the longer side of the triangle. 12 is to n, and you'll notice when you cross multiply, you'll end up with the same equation that we had in the previous problem. Um, leaving us with the same solution of n. 5 times 12, which eventually leads to n equal to 10. Again, answer C.